Hello and welcome to the fifth chapter of the advanced system description of the Tupelo 154. In this chapter we are going to talk about the file system and how to use it. In Microsoft Flight Simulator 9 and Microsoft Flight Simulator X, fires are not simulated, but in the real aircraft it's extremely important to know how to handle this system, so I will explain it anyway. On the upcoming Tupelo 154M for X-Plane, fires will be simulated, so for the uses of X-Plane, this chapter will be very important. The Tupelo 154M is equipped with an SSP2A fire warning system with flame sensors providing audio and visual warnings. The engines are equipped with a separate fire warning system. Nine fire extinguisher bottles are located in the rear fuselage equipment bay for firefighting in the engine nacelles and APU bay. Fires are not simulated in the Tupelo 154M for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So the operation of the fire system mainly consists of powering up the system and checking the warning lamps and audible alerts. The following controls are provided. Jeanette gas system switch used in case of emergency landing. Tanks number one and number four located at the fuselage are filled with inert gas, nitrogen, replacing air. Then the probability of a fire in case of a tank damage decreases. Fire extinguisher bottles from uh, left to right for APU, engines one, two and three. Main fire system switch. Fire warning lights. Cargo compartment smoke detectors. These are miscellaneous, not belonging to fire systems. These switches serve for control of fire protection gauges and are only used by maintenance personnel for system check or regular maintenance. You as a pilot do not need to fiddle with these switches. This switch over here, Sirena, is used to silence the fire system uh, warning alert in case it gives you a headache. Now I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use the fire warning system of the Tupelo 154M. Again, we are in the flight engineer training program instead of uh, any commercially available simulators. Now, to turn the fire system on, please press this switch and this light above it will extinguish, meaning the system is now turned on. And to perform the checks, it's very simple. Just uh, press all of these uh, three buttons and check the serviceability of the sirens and lights. As you can see, it's very straightforward and the system works. These two switches do not belong to the fire warning system, but they're quite important and are close to the fire warning system, so I will explain them anyway. This switch in red is the turn off and on switch for audible warnings, a very loud siren that will come up whenever something is going wrong or wrongly configured the Tupelo 154. The siren or buzzer is very loud, which is why you should disable it as soon as possible and then troubleshoot what might have caused it to come on. This uh, switch is the power switch for the audible less than 2500 kilograms of fuel warning. Use it to silence the warning. If this fire turns on, it means that the fuel is less than 2500 kilograms and you must make an emergency landing as soon as possible.